Alright, hey guys, um, oh god, my hair is not cooperating today. We're gonna, I don't know, we'll leave it like, that's fine, deal with it. Alright, anyway, um, today's video is going to be a little bit different. We are doing a haul. I have not done a haul slash unboxing in, it's got to be at least a year, so it's been quite a while. But today's video, I say, is different because these are actually products that I have no familiarity with. I have never tried anything from this line. It's not a brand that we carry at Sephora, so this is truly, truly like a first, first impression. I have, I really have never tried anything, um, and I'm just really excited to, God, I haven't filmed in so long, I'm like forgetting how to talk. Anyway, let's just get right into it, you guys. As you can see from the title, today's video is going to be a first impressions and unboxing of some Kylie Cosmetics products. I have never tried anything from her line, as I said, but I am a like pretty low-key diehard Kylie fan. Like I don't like necessarily I don't watch the show, I don't like I don't know everything about her, but I love like I think she's gorgeous and I love her. But I'm not like one of those crazy people who know who like stalks her every day and just watches her story all the time. I don't know ever what she's up to. And obviously I have never tried anything. But that's mostly because I work at Sephora. I don't really buy makeup anymore. Do you, there's just no need for me to do so. I get so much from work and then also I don't really, I just, I get, I get to play with all the new makeup there all the time. So I don't really feel like I need to buy it. But this is something that we don't carry so I did want to treat myself. I just got my tax refund. Um, and I just wanted to see something new that I haven't seen. You know, when you, watch YouTube before I used to work at Sephora. I was so excited about these new products. I'd see them coming out and YouTube was doing videos on them and I would get so excited and I would rush into Sephora and buy them. Now that I work at Sephora and I get to see it usually like a week before it even launches on shelves, I've already played with it and I'm kind of like, eh, not too excited. We don't have any Kylie makeup, so this is all completely new to me, so I'm very excited. God, it's been three minutes already, shit. All right, let's just get right into it, I'm sorry. Um, I look a little crazy right now, I don't have mascara or eyeliner on, or eye, eyes, anything, and my bold brow, like, I just look crazy. So let's just get into it and start putting some stuff on. The first thing that I wanted to show you guys was the Kylie Jordan palette. Um, let me just get it all ready for you. This is what it looks like. So on the palette you have this rose gold metallic, um, I think it's just like a printing, they just like stamp it on with a, with like a die or something like that. And the hearts and all the eye, the highlighted features of their body and neck have that metallic feature, so it's really cute. And then it says Kylie and Jordan. This confuses me though because like I, that, I don't think that's Kylie, I think that's Kylie, but I honestly can't tell. They look basically the same to me, just one's more tan. Um, so and that's not important. And on the back you have the list of ingredients and shade names. But let's just get right into the palette. It comes in a really nice sleeve, very thin. I just showed that to you, oh my god. And yes, I am sick. You can hear it, like I don't sound great. I'm really sorry. And then here is the palette itself. Kylie Jordan. It's like a warm, almost taupey undertone chocolate brown. Those are contradictory of themselves. Warm and taupey don't make sense. Um, it's like a, no, you can have a warm taupe. It's like a warm taupe brown. It's not completely brown. And then it says Kylie Jordan in the metallic font. Opening up, we have our little protective sleeve. That just hit me in the eye. And a full-size mirror. Really, really love that full-size mirror. Very nice. And then here's the palette itself. You guys. Stop. These colors are incredible. I have played with them a little bit, and I have to say, I'm very, 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 very impressed. Um, I will do swatches in a second. I just want to open the other two things first. It doesn't really make sense to do that, does it? No, right? I, just, I don't know. I hate doing. I hate doing swatches. Uh, okay, let me just get it over with. No, I'm gonna go on to the next product because I want to. I want to stay excited. I'll do swatches at the end. So the next thing is the Kai Light, one of her highlighters. It's cute that she, anything that had an I sound, she just switched out for her name, like Kylie. 
um, in the makeup vernacular. So Kai lighter, Kai shadow, all those things. It's kind of cute, but also kind of annoying. Anyway, here is, I love her. Here is her Kai light. It says Kylie right on the front in a mirrored finish. And right below that, it says Kylie Jenner. One thing I'd like to note though, this font or whatever they use to put this on here is so jagged along the edges. Um, so that's not very clean, but that's not a huge deal because this wasn't crazy expensive and also I think it's like inlaid in there, so whatever. That's actually being very nitpicky, but anyway, here is what the highlight looks like. It has that dripping imprint from the pressing process that is iconic of all of her products. Her line is known for having that kind of aesthetic and um, design on most of her packaging. Then a really cute little mirror here, and on the back it has the shade, and the one that I picked up was Cheers, Darling. And this one I will swatch just because it's one color. It's like a really pretty champagne, slight pink undertone to it, but mostly warmer tone. Like when I turn my hand, I don't really see it that much, so the undertone's perfect for me. Okay, and then the last thing that I picked up from her line was one of her loose, what are they called? Loose power highlighters, powder highlighters. This is the only thing I don't like. The packaging on this is, it's not good, guys. It comes in a little tub like this, it says Kylie, really cute, but, oh my god, I'm scared to open it. It's not that bad. All right, I'll zoom down, I'll pan down so you can see. The holes are gigantic. Like if this were loose powder, high, lo like loose trans translucent setting powder, I'd be fine with it because you want it to have a little bit of a deeper dish or deeper well so you can get your brush in there. Um, but with highlighter, this is so deep from here to here, from the like the bottom to the where the lid is. If this is upside down in your bag all day, this whole thing could fill up with powder eventually. I mean, this is already pretty gross, and I have not brought this anywhere except from unboxing it, trying it on yesterday, and up here now to film. So this is not something you want to travel with. I would recommend keeping it at home, but the packaging is very sleek. I would have liked to have maybe seen this have a netting over it, similar to like the milk powders or um, the any like anything just with smaller holes. I just think this is too, it's too much. Um, or, I don't know, or like having a sifter, kind of like the Bare Minerals pot, I don't know. Just, this is very frustrating because it gets everywhere and you don't really want to travel with it. But, we're going to try some on right now. I don't have any highlight on yet, so let's zoom on in. And you can see what it looks like. I use the Laura Mercier Glow Setting Powder though, that's why I have a little bit of a glow in my skin. Um, but I'm just picking up a little bit, and you also get so much, I just, I wish they had made that smaller. Oh my god, wow. So I'm making sure not to bring that past the arch of my brow, because I don't want to see the highlight when I'm looking straight forward. But damn, when that hits the light, that's incredible. All right, you know what, whatever. Let's just bring it the whole way in like the crazy highlighting trend that everyone's doing right now, just to see. That's kind of nuts. I hate it in here, like I hate it, but wow. It's pretty, it's really, really pretty. I'm also going to highlight my nose a little bit with it, just see how that works. Shoot. This stuff's really, really bright. All right, I only swatched it on my hand. I hadn't tried it on the face yet. Really love that, but I think I might press it. I might, yeah, I might take it out and press it just because it's so frustrating. Um, if you don't know how to do that, that just be careful with it, but um, there's tons of pressing videos. All right, next we're gonna take Cheese Darling and we'll pop that right on the cheekbone on the other side. So this one's definitely not as bright. Although, I think I like the tone of it better. Yeah, I think I like the way it, it just looks on my skin better. Cheers, darling. The pressed highlight. Oh, it 
it's so pretty. But this one's way more intense. For sure. I don't know though. It's pretty impressive. Because these were not expensive. But honestly, highlighter, it's kind of just like, it's metallic eyeshadow pigment. It's metallic mica. So it really comes down to the base formula is what makes it impressive and determines how it will wear. The brightness, there is the max point at which you can, that all highlighters will max out at, how bright they are. Um, like, cause they're all, you know what I mean? So I never really hate any highlighters. I feel like I'm talking, I sound like talking to you right now. Highlights not something that you really can hate on unless it's just like not there. But also there are different types of highlights. Some, like the Hourglass, um, ambient lighting powders. They're not technically highlighters, but a lot of people think they are and then they get mad about it. That's not meant to be a blinding highlight and that's not what you always want. So really, really enjoy both of these because I can get the two looks out of it. This is a more, actually it's pretty intense. This one's like bam in your face, super, super glowy. And this one's a little more here to, I don't know, chit chat for a little bit, not necessarily to play. Alright, now we will go on to the eyeshadows. This video is already so long, god damn it. My videos are always so long. I don't know why. Okay, here's the palette. Let's just go through. So this is the shade My Heart, right? Yep. It's this really pretty purple. So there is My Heart, and then right below that is the shade Love You Bitch. And this is a, like a deeper version of it. It's like a really pretty plum aubergine tone. Next, we have Soulmate, which is a really pretty taupe. And that's that one right there. And then directly below Soulmate is the shade With Love, Wild Love. And this is a duochrome. It's like purple and green. So you can see the purple and then the green. I can shift it the right way. I don't know, it's easier to see in the pan. It's this one right here. Do you see it turn green? Depending on like where the light is. Then we have, what is this? Then this is the shade Peru. It's a really bright orange, kind of like a tangerine tone. And then right below that is probably the brightest color in the palette. This is the shade Marry Me. And it's like a green, slightly blue toned silver. But it's like ridiculously bright. And then to the left of that we have true love and true love is probably my least favorite color in this palette it's a matte camel like brown shade like I love the tone of it but it has a micro glitter in it I don't like when mattes have glitter in them I just I don't like it um, but the actual base pigments are really pretty then we have the shade ride or die this one is so pretty just a true, true copper. All right guys, and we're running out of space. I'm gonna go on the inner part of my forearm. Um, and we're going into Loyal, which is this gold shade right here. So that is what Loyal looks like. It's not terribly different from Ride or Die. They're a very similar undertone, but this one just has a little bit more yellow to it. And directly below Loyal, we have the shade Sister. Sister is right here, this deep chocolatey brown. So that one's really nice, rich, and creamy. And then our last two shades. This is Wild Love, or Wild Life. Wife Life, I can't read, Wife Life. So this is the shade Wife Life. It's just like a soft nude. And lastly is the shade Don't Ever Leave Me. This one's like a really pretty crimsony red metallic shade. All right guys, so there are all of the colors in the new Kylie Jordan palette available on her website. Um, I'm gonna really just quickly apply a tiny bit of this just to see how it blends. I have not tried it on the eyes yet. 
Um, I'm gonna take White Life, which is that kind of off tan nude shade. And I'm just gonna buff that right into my crease. So that doesn't really show up very much on my skin tone. Um, take True Love, which is a little bit darker. This is the one with the matte. This is that matte with that yellow, the micro glitter in it that I didn't really like, but it's a good transition shade. Can't really see the glitter either. And then I'm going to take a little bit of my heart, which is the bright, bright purple. Poke that in the outer corner. And a little into the crease. For now, I didn't, I didn't prime or anything, and this is actually not going on too bad. Um, I'm just gonna warm that up with a little bit of Peru, which is the bright orange. I'm not going for anything perfect, because obviously this is not supposed to be a tutorial, I just wanna see how they blend, work with a brush. It's pretty easy, actually. I'm gonna take Sister, which is the dark brown. Start in the lower and connect up. I'm gonna bring a little bit of my heart down there too. I mean, that's coming along quite nice. Sorry about the lighting. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of Ride or Die, which is the darker copper, and I'm gonna take that in a flat MAC 242 shading brush. Wow, I'm actually really impressed by that. I didn't use any setting spray or fix plus or anything like that. That's gorgeous, super easy to use. I'm gonna take Loyal and come in hard on that inner corner. And a little bit of Marry Me, which is the really crazy bright color. I'm gonna focus that right at the lash. Blend up. Damn, that one, this one's so intense. You need very little of it. Wow. <laughs> That's nuts. I really, really like that color. Hey right, guys, I don't want to sit here forever. I could go on and on and on playing with this palette, but that was a really quick 20 minute. That was a quick haul slash unboxing first impression slash swatch of some of the new Kylie products. Or some of these aren't new. Like I know this is not new. I don't know if these are necessarily, these are new I think actually, and I don't know when this came out. I don't, again, I've never tried any of this stuff, it's new to me, but I'm really, really excited that I got everything because I'm actually pleasantly surprised with the quality. I also wanted to wait before I purchased anything from her out for her brand to grow a little bit more. There was just some of the things when they first, when she first launched I didn't love. Um, and this just clearly is extremely high quality and I, I really like it. So I'm glad I made the purchases that I did. And that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, sorry again about the lighting. I feel like it's really off today. I'm going to go wash all these off and then wash my face because I just don't want to have makeup on anymore today. And yeah, that's about it. I will see you guys in my next one. I'm going to feature this in an actual tutorial probably next week. And I'll use all of these things a little bit more in depth and uh, give you more feedback after I've had more time to play with them. But yeah, guys, again, thank you so much. This concludes the video. I will see you all in my next one. And I think I'm also going to be doing another unboxing slash first impressions coming up. Um, I'll probably try to have it up by the end of this week. I want to do two videos this week um, because I just purchased the Viva palette from Natasha Denona. And I want to do a video on that before I get into it and get it all gross and, all, you know. But, alright, I'll see y'all in my next one, and until then, bye y'all.